Welcome to my humble abode. I didn't see you come in here. It's actually kind of surprising you got in here with the quarantine, but that's okay. I'm glad you're here. We can have a chat and talk about solar. I'm Bryce Carter. I am the program director with Solar Night Neighbors for Colorado. I'm here to do a little fireside chat with you as we hang out in our homes in the next couple of weeks to give you an update about where the solar co-op is and also hopefully answer a couple of your lingering questions as we look at this uncertain time. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for being a member with the uh, Denver Solar Co-op. When our selection committee was evaluating which installer to proceed with for the first Denver Solar Co-op, they considered greatly in terms of the balance of value around price, the type of equipment and warranties offered, as well as installer experience. Sunfinity was selected for this particular co-op because of their excellent price, as well as the fact that they had a track record of opening up in new states and having multiple offices across the country. Now, uh, we knew that there would be risk in terms of opening up in the new market, and we expected that there would be some hiccups. And with the significant savings that we saw, the selection committee decided that it was worth that risk. From the ITC, the federal tax credit for solar, uh, there was a huge rush of people coming in. And then certainly, as we looked at the beginning of the year, we did see some turnover with some affinity, which led to some additional delays on the ground, unfortunately. This is one of the reasons why many of you have experienced some issues with communication with some affinity. My role through Solar United Neighbors has to make sure that our communications, both from members as well as Sunfinity, have been going back and forth. And overall, we've seen success through the installs that have been completed. To date, we're about two thirds done of the solar co-op. And I know there are also many of you that are still waiting on getting the final inspections done all the way to actually starting the installation in the first place. For those of you that have not had your installation completed, we will probably see at least a two week delay because of the stay at home order. Symphony will need to bring their crews in to be able to finish those installations, and that's probably going to take a couple extra weeks of additional logistics. Once your install is completed, it will need to then go through inspection, which might be an additional week or two, and then finally you need to have your meters installed and get approval from Excel Energy to interconnect. That could be as many as three to four weeks of a wait, unfortunately. One of the issues I suspect we're seeing is that because 5G is starting to grow in the Denver metro area, each one of those 5G poles also needs an electric meter. So I'm pretty sure those guys are working overtime. So yes, there have been a few bumps in the road, but again, Solar United Neighbors and myself remain committed to you, working through all these challenges and making sure that your needs are met. Now, uh, certainly we are looking at launching a second co-op in the near future. Uh, it all depends certainly as we look at the current circumstances and moving forward with uh, working with the city of Denver. So we're excited to explore that. So if you have any friends or neighbors that are interested in getting in on the next co-op selection process, uh, stay tuned. We do have a wait list available on our website. So if you just go to solarunitedneighbors.org slash Denver, you and your friends can sign up for that wait list. Given this unique opportunity where many of us are gonna be at home and kind of just exploring what's next for us, uh, this is a great time to just connect you and I through a digital medium. And I know it's not terribly great to look into a lens and imagine you're talking to people on the other side, but uh, it's what we got to do right now. So with that said, we do have a couple cool webinars coming up. If you did miss any of our information sessions or if you know anyone that would be interested, we have two of them upcoming, uh, one on April 1st and one on April 7th. Um, each one will be at six o'clock and going to six to 7.30. We're gonna do it as a Zoom webinar. In addition, on April 8th, we're gonna be hosting a Making Solar Connections webinar. What this is, is basically a fun networking opportunity for us to be online, maybe have uh, a beer or whatever, um, tea, whatever your preference is, and just have a dialogue. You know, how's your solar working? What issues or questions do you have? And just kind of see where everyone's at and how we might be able to engage and grow engagement. So this short video is just to check in with you to see how things are going, to see if you have any questions or concerns at this stage of the process. As we work through everything, I'm going to continue to be a resource for you. Um, if you have your solar installed, take a photo with it. Send us some video or uh, your own story. Why did you go solar? What made you excited about it? Because we want to share the solar stories with each other. Some of you might be more creative. If you want to draw or take photos, or if you want to even build a solar oven, we've had all sorts of interesting things that uh, people have done for solar power. Uh, let us know, share it with us. We would love to grow our community and revel in the awesomeness that is being powered by the sun. So with that said, uh, again, I'm here as a resource. I really appreciate your membership and please be safe and healthy out there as we work through the current crisis. And uh, I look forward to meeting you in person as soon as possible. 
All right, take care and have a good night. Okay, well, I'm just gonna point out behind me in the scene here, we have this little girl who's just being so lovely and saying, Bryce, why aren't you petting me and giving me attention? Huh? Yeah, are you a cute girl? Yes, you are. <laughs>